Have you ever noticed how every few months the internet swears it's finally found a way to reverse cavities naturally? Oil pulling, remineralizing toothpaste, fluoride-free everything. Every few weeks there's a new video claiming, heal your teeth without the drill. Sounds good, right? But can that actually happen? Can a tooth really repair itself? Or is that just another viral claim dressed up as science? If you're like most people, you don't exactly love sitting in the dental chair, getting a shot with that huge needle, hearing the drill, and holding your mouth open forever. It's tense, it's uncomfortable, and then comes the bill. So of course you start wondering, is there a better way? Something less invasive, maybe even natural. And hey, if it saves you some money in the process, even better. It makes sense. People change their diets, heal their bodies, even reverse some conditions naturally. So if the mouse part of the body, shouldn't it be able to heal too? That's where the reverse your cavity naturally trend takes off, promising that the right products or habits can fix decay without stepping into a dental office. Let's be honest. That sounds pretty fantastic. Before I go deeper, take a second to subscribe. I break this stuff down in plain English every week. No fluff, just what actually matters for your teeth. Most people think cavities can't heal, but that's not completely true. They actually can, if you catch them early enough. Think of your tooth like an M&M. &M. That hard outer shell is your enamel, and inside is the softer layer, the chocolate part, called dentin. As long as the decay stays in that outer shell, we can still reverse it with the right products and habits. But once it breaks through into the soft inner layer, there's no turning back. At that point, a dentist has to remove the decay and restore the tooth. None of the natural fix methods work anymore. That early stage, when enamel starts losing minerals, that's where fluoride does its thing. You've got three levels of defense. Everyday fluoride, toothpaste, and rinses you grab off the shelf. They rebuild weak spots and toughen your enamel. Prescription toothpaste, like ClinPro 5000 or Prevident. Your provider usually gives you that when you're high risk or your enamel's starting to soften. And then there are in-office treatments. That's the heavy duty stuff, applied right on your teeth when x-rays show early decay that hasn't broken through yet. We used to call those a watch. Back then, we'd just keep an eye on them. Now, we can actually do something. Examples, Stannis Fluoride and Curadont. Curadont's the newer one. Both strengthen that outer shell and stop the cavity from moving deeper. That's the science-based side. But what about the natural side? Oil pulling, mineral toothpaste, coconut oil? Do any of those actually work in that early reversible stage? Some can help, just not the way most people think. They don't rebuild enamel like fluoride does. What they really do is improve the environment in your mouth, lower bacteria, balance your pH, and help your saliva do its job. That makes it easier for your enamel to heal itself. Fluoride, though. It goes a step further. When it mixes with the minerals in your saliva, it replaces what your enamel lost and forms something stronger called fluorapatite. Think of it as upgrading your tooth's armor so it can take more hits next time. So while natural methods can help keep your mouth healthy, fluoride is what actually rebuilds weakened enamel. That's why other dentists and I still recommend using it, not because we don't believe in natural care, but because the chemistry proves it works. Now you're probably wondering how you'd even know if your cavity is still in that early stage. You can't, and your dentist can't either, not just by looking. They're not superhuman. That's why x-rays and checkups matter so much. Those visits every six months aren't just routine. They're how we catch problems before you ever feel them. Because once you start feeling pain or sensitivity, the cavity isn't small anymore. X-rays help us see between your teeth and under the surface. And with new AI tools like Vidya AI, we can spot early decay even sooner. These systems scan your x-rays in real time and highlight tiny changes that might have been easy to miss before. That means fewer watch areas and more chances to actually stop decay before it spreads. That's where products like Curadont come in again. They've changed how we handle early decay. Instead of just watching it, we can take action and help the tooth heal before it breaks through the enamel. So, can you really reverse cavities naturally? Yes, but only the very early ones. If the decay is still sitting on the surface, there's a chance to stop it and even rebuild what was lost. 
Once it digs deeper, there's no going back. That's why timing matters so much. Regular checkups, early detection, and consistent care. That's the difference between let's strengthen it and we have to fix it. If you're serious about keeping your teeth strong and want real answers without the fluff, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss next week's video. And if there's something you want me to cover, drop it in the comments. I do read them, and I'll answer what I can in future videos. Here's the truth. None of this works without the basics. If you're not brushing and flossing, fluoride won't help. If your mouth stays highly acidic, even the best products can't save your enamel. Start simple. Brush, floss, and keep your mouth balanced. Then add fluoride, whichever form fits your needs, to help rebuild and protect. That's how you keep your teeth strong, not just for a few months, for life. If this helped clear things up, share it with someone who's been scrolling those same videos asking the same question. I'm Dr. Foxy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.